friends, and welcome to chapel time for this week. Now, just a minute ago, there was some thunder and some lightning because it is a rainy, thunderstormy day here today. So that might happen again, or the light may change. There might be all kinds of things. So we're just going to enjoy it and thank God for all the wonderful gifts he gives us, like rain and thunder, to keep things interesting every day. Alrighty, and now it's time to open our worship. We have our candle lit, which means it's time to sing... Jesus, Jesus, be our light. I'll count one, two, three, and we'll sing together. Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, be our light. Come to make the darkness bright. Through the day and through the night. Love me, keep me in your sight. Jesus, Jesus, be our light. Come to make the darkness bright. Good job, friends. Excellent. Alrighty, now we open our worship in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, it's time to pray, and I think we're going to do some prayer hands. Since all of our butterfly friends are somewhere safe and dry and probably taking a nap, Let's remember them and all of our little friends on, that come out on sunny days. Here's a butterfly. Now gently fold up your butterfly wings, gently, and repeat the prayer after me. Dear God, help us to listen, help us to learn, and help us to understand. Amen. Alrighty, help us to understand, dear Lord. That's what we pray every time. And especially today's story is really good about teaching us about understanding um, because Jesus makes something that was really complicated before very, very simple. And I'm gonna read you that story right now. So here we go. This is called The Greatest Commandment. And it's one of Miss Laney's favorites. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So here we go. The Greatest Commandment. The Pharisees were a group of people who had lots and lots of laws. A law is like a rule you might have in your classroom or maybe a rule at home. Um, maybe there's certain things you can and can't touch. Maybe there's places you can run and that you can't run, stuff like that. So a law is just the same as a rule. But altogether, these Pharisees had more than 600 laws. That is a lot of rules to follow. One day, one of these Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what is the greatest law? He didn't think that Jesus could possibly pick just one out of so many, and he was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew that the man was trying to trick him. So he looked at the man and smiled and said, Love God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your mind. This is the greatest of all commandments. But there's another really important one too. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you obey these two laws, then you obey all of the laws. The Pharisees' jaws dropped. They were shocked to know just how smart Jesus was. They were surprised that he had answered their question and turned their trick around on him and they didn't know what to say. But now they knew what was the greatest things to do of all. All right, so Jesus made something that was really hard before. There were lots and lots of laws, lots of rules to follow to show that you loved God and could follow all of his um, ways that he wanted you to live. But Jesus came and told us that really you need to do two things. If you can just keep these two things in mind, to love God and everything that you're doing and to love your neighbor in everything that you're doing, then that means you're obeying all of the laws. So he made something that used to be really hard, really, really easy for us. So that's why I really love that story um, because A, it's all about God loving us and Jesus loving us, and B, it's about making our lives easier and helping us to live like Jesus. So our Bible verse for this week is from the book of Matthew. Just like last week, it was from the book of Matthew, but this one is from Matthew the 22nd chapter, and the verses are the 37th and 39th verse, and here's how they go. Jesus said, 
You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. All right, so that's the greatest part of the whole Bible because if we can remember to do just those two things, love God and love our neighbor, then we are doing just what God wants us to do and we're being like Jesus. So to celebrate this, and since it's my favorite story, I wrote a new song. And before I get to teaching you some of the hand motions, I wanna sing it for you first because it's a tune that you probably haven't heard before because it's very, very old. It's called Solid Rock. And I want to be sure that you hear it before we sing it together. So here we go. I love my God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. I love my neighbor just like me, for Jesus taught me how to be. These are the greatest things to do, for God loves me and God loves you, and so we love each other. So now I'm going to teach you the hand motions for that song. And a lot of them you're going to know because we've done them before, like love. So it starts with, I love my God with all my heart. Take your middle finger, this middle one, touch it to your heart. With all my soul, you got two pinchy fingers and they go up from your hand like this. All my soul and all my mind. I love my neighbor just like me for Jesus. I know you know that one. Jesus taught me how to be. You touch your fingers to your chin and move them forward. Taught me how to be. These, so point, you pretend there's things in front of you. These are the greatest things to do. So the greatest. These are the greatest things to do for God loves me and God loves you. And so we love each other too. So you take two thumbs and you move them around each other. That's for each other. So, so we love each other too. All right, I'm gonna run through it one more time and then we'll sing it, okay? I love my God with all my heart, with all my soul and all my mind. I love my neighbor just like me, for Jesus taught me how to be. These are the greatest things to do, for God loves me and God loves you, and so we love each other too. All right, now we're going to put the words and the motions with the music, and we're gonna sing it together. I'm gonna to count one, two, three, and I want you just to try your best, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. I love my God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. I love my neighbor just like me, for Jesus taught me how to be. These are the greatest things to do, for God loves me and God loves you, and so we love each other too. Wonderful, good job, my friends. I know it's sometimes hard when I bring something brand new to you, but I'm so glad that you always try so hard and you're such good listeners. And I'm so happy to be with you each Wednesday chapel time and share these wonderful stories and wonderful music. So I think it's time for us to pray. And since we have this wonderful Bible verse to love God with all of our hearts and our souls and our minds and love our neighbors as ourselves, let's take our Bibles close them up, remembering all these wonderful things that we learned, and repeat the prayer after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us the best ways to be loving. Help us to do them all the time. Amen. Alrighty, our closing prayer means that it's time for our blessing. So where do we put our hands first? Where's our mind? Up here. So put your hands on your head and we'll say, God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be on my left side. 
God be in my right side. God be in my whole life. Thanks be to God. All right. Thanks be to God for you guys being such good listeners. Thanks be to God for this wonderful lesson that teaches us the greatest commandment and that we only have to do two things to be doing what God wants us to do. Love God, love each other. And that is it. So let's sing thank you for another day and think all about all of the things that we're grateful for in our lives. Okay, so here we go. Thank you for another day. Guide us in our work and play. Help us do the things that are right. Keep us always in your sight. Amen, amen, amen. Now go in peace and serve the Lord, doing those two things, loving God and your neighbor, and thanks be to God.